bad ones. Uh-oh, there we go. Awful. Intolerably slow lectures, very monotone, not always clear on how essay grades are assigned. This is 2011. Oh, that's so old, that doesn't even matter. That was not global energy for sure. I don't know what class this was. Homework, blah, blah, blah. Was unclear on directions to print skeleton diagram. Usually what one does is one downloads the file, which is on the syllabus, and then you press print. Had to manually draw the diagram. Okay. It's on the syllabus. Usually everything is, in fact, on the syllabus. Loomis is an awesome person. He's a hilarious guy, and he knows how to relate to students. However, his lectures definitely got progressively worse throughout the semester. I know what you I don't really know what happened, but basically everything after the second exam he managed to make pretty unclear, even though the concepts were easier. Oh. You and I know exactly what year this was. 2016. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, Go ahead, defend yourself. Uh, no defense. Zero defense. Uh, dead on right. Usually these students are right. Uh, that year was a rough year for me. There's no doubt. I had a bunch of deadlines, grants, etc. You remember it. I do remember it, yeah. And uh, valid criticism. Yes. <laughs> Just valid. Yes. I was not good. Yes. After yes. midterm. Yes. How, what does this even mean? Oh, it says awesome. It starts off very hot, but kind of a tool. What the fuck does that mean? What does tool mean anyhow? I'll have to look that up after this is done. His lectures sometimes are boring. He is very monotone. His tests are challenging, but nonetheless, the overall class is not that bad. All right. It says awesome here, but kind of a tool, but very hot. So, take the good with the bad. Always talks about Ferris Bueller. B-tier movie. Ferris Bueller's Day Off came out the year I was a senior in high school, and so it's extra special meaning for me. And if you don't understand that pop culture reference, you need to go watch Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Dr. Doshbach is a master of chemistry and it can explain anything from quantum to organic. I bet during normal semesters, she's in, she is even more of a rock star. Unfortunately, she seemed tired and exhausted much of the semester. I, I think said. this wore on her patience a bit for some of the students. Overall, good person and challenging course. Um, I think you can guess what semester that was. I'm that would have been guess COVID. Fall 2020. Yes. The evaluation yes. was written yes. January 15, 2020. 100% accurate. So why were you tired? <laughs> Why were you grumpy? I, I don't know. I was working from home. Um, I should have I should have been uh, I should have been well rested. But yeah, I daycare was shut down. I had a three year old. I was homeschooling a second grader at that point and trying to teach hundreds of students online. Well, it's awful. Two thousand four. Very uninvolved. Are you kidding me? Unwilling to give guidance, he clearly didn't do the work. An amazing guy and an amazing professor, very passionate about what he's interested in, and that is clear in his lectures. Although the content is difficult and not very interesting, what? He keeps the class energized with his jokes. If you want a good grade, do not skip class because certain slides are not uploaded. That's not true either, they just couldn't find them. He plays fun music before class too. This must be the anatomy class. No, 150, that's weird. Okay, how can you think human evolution is not interesting? That is definitely not true. Human evolution is cool. Awesome! Quality five, Loomis is excellent. He knows his stuff and he can teach anyone. He keeps you entertained, but he does not distract you. That was a younger you. I don't know how accurate <laughs> that is currently. All right. You. He is... <laughs> Uh-oh. She's <laughs> really big! <laughs> He is really big. I'll work on that. Get over it <laughs> and go to his office. <laughs> Obviously, this two was, of us can't this fit in before, my office. This was before we embraced. You know, we became inclusive. 
we embraced your your size and just decided to lean into it and make you dress up as Shrek and the Beast on Halloween. They can play. They can be. We can turn things into Shreks. All right. He is really big. Get over and go to his office hours. It is really helpful. Because of him, I have switched from biochem to chem. I hope I can have him for my advisor. No. Oh, that was nice. You couldn't fit in my office with me. I'm too big. The best part about like this is thinking like, okay, this isn't like I got to do this student eval for you know this point in class or whatever. It's really like that you know you choose to do this, right? And it's like, what's in my heart? What do I need to get out about this? <laughs> He's big. This is what the world needs to know. He's big. He's really big. Gustafson is passionate about the subject, global energy and the American dream is such, and this is from 2015, an important class to take if you care about the world at all and do the readings. Yes, do the readings, always. The books are life changing, especially Carbon Democracy. And this changes everything. Also, he's a hottie. Now we're talking my language. Who is this? Too bad they don't have their name on here and has a slight southernist action, accent that will melt your heart. Your heart should be melting now. Very nice professor who is willing to help. Your ability to su succeed in human evolution is dependent on how well you memorize. That's not true. This class is almost entirely memorization. That's not true. So get ready for this. Dashi. <laughs> Dashi is okay. And she has been teaching this course forever. All right, for clarity, when I joke that you know Einstein yeah. and you talked to Einstein and you taught him, yes, yes, that's yes. not true. Yeah. I don't, maybe the students didn't get that, that you were not alive in 1920. So the jokes are all the same. Yes. When I first started teaching 11 years ago and you said, oh, she knew Einstein, people were like, okay. And now, now that I'm in my 40s, I was like, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, that's, that checks out. Alright, to continue. Yes, yeah, sorry. sorry. Over and all, overall, an okay class and semester. I did find it annoying how she constantly tried to convince us the material was amazing. We did not come to watch you for a cheerleader. Some might have, but alright. Yeah. Please just teach. Yeah. Also, tone the exams down a bit. They don't have to be that hard. Yeah. Yeah. I just can't picture you as a cheerleader in high school. Because you always picture me with my mom body. <laughs> yeah. No, I was thinking of you as more of a study. You need dad. some type of hand eye coordination to be a cheerleader. Is that why? Partially oh, that. Valid. Partially yes. that. Yes. But then also. Yes. You were a study. I wasn't quite making it into marching band. I don't think I could cheerlead. <laughs> Yeah, know thyself, know thyself. Maybe next Halloween, cheerleaders. Definitely could. I could. Yeah, to me. <laughs> we go up front and say, give me a C, C, give me a H, H. We've heard your feedback. <laughs> we know how much you love cheerleading in this class. I think we have something here. Can you imagine? I could not. Yeah. I wonder yeah. if I, we could borrow outfits from the Washington cheerleader. Okay, this is, this is taking a turn. <laughs> this is taking an unfortunate turn. Brett's incredible, yes. While he took a few lectures to really get into stride, this is 2015, once he did, especially regarding indigenous rights in Bolivia, his lecture was incredible, see? He's so inspirational and a very different perspective on anthropology, plus he's a cutie. You're, you're not supposed to say things like that about your professor and goes on rants about capitalism, what's not to love. Oh, sorry, that was a good one. I'm keeping notes. The rest of you are trash. Um, this, is, this is an interesting one to, uh, to end on. Because, it, so up until this point, these have been fair reviews, I feel like. Uh -oh. I, I vehemently disagree with this one. You're defending me now. This is awesome, everybody. January 3rd, 2005. Average. Well, average. Professor Loomis is hot. <laughs> I vehemently. Didn't I have a fever? With two T's. Hot. Hot. <laughs> um, I'm going to save this. 
I mean, it was it's, 20 years ago. I am sure this is the first and only time I've ever been called hot. Look at that. It's on the interwebs. <laughs> with two T's. I should put Does it... that mean something with two T's? Or do you think they meant that he was hot? Uh, seeing as how my children read these to me all the time, I've heard it all. Uh, but it's nice to know that the vast majority were positive and those who were not, well, you're going in the trash. No. Maybe I have to become way more optimistic. Maybe you could be and a, do this. Yeah. Maybe and you could cheerlead a little bit. Cheerlead. Wouldn't kill you. Wouldn't kill me. I'll cheerlead. From now on, post exam three, the end of the semester, I'll start cheerleading. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The reality Just don't do it in an annoying way. Don't perform it. <laughs>